That is not where that goes. Guys, welcome back. On today's episode, we're making orange chicken. Let's get cooking. I'm a private chef, cook for money, yeah. Guys, I apologize. It's been a bit of a hectic week. My pipe burst. There was fucking everything was going everywhere. No, 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 no. All this water's coming out. It's the dishwasher. Turn the dishwasher off. But we're back. We're cooking orange chicken. We're using chicken thighs that I've just diced up here into about inch cubes. And then boneless, skinless chicken thighs, of course. And then right here, I have a mixture of cornstarch and flour. It's mostly cornstarch. It's about half a cup of cornstarch and about a fourth cup flour. Uh, you can go even ratios if you want. You could do uh, equal parts flour and cornstarch. But the cornstarch is key. You need that cornstarch in there. That's when we're going to get that lightness, that crispiness. And I'm going to dump just a dusting over that chicken right there to coat. This is just to get an initial layer on there. So make sure all that chicken is coated. Is this not on? You fuck. You just want to mix it up right here to get that initial dusting on that chicken so that all our batter sticks to it. Dude, I have some oil here that's been sitting on the heat for a little while now, coming up to temperature. I'm going to move it over here out of the way, but just use some canola oil and get that to like, you want it like 375, between 350 and 375. What's going to happen is when we put the chicken in, it cools the oil down. So remember that you want it a little hotter than when you're going to cook at because naturally it's going to start to cool down. For our batter, what I have here is some sparkling water. Now sparkling water works best. You're going to get that lightness, that crispiness that we want in this chicken. But if you have just plain tap water, that's going to be fine too. We're just oh shit! This episode is not fucking going well. I'm gonna go in there just until a batter forms. So a little bit, we're gonna stir that up. Stir, stir, stir. We're going for like a pancake batter consistency here. Oh, uh, this is not even on camera, fuck. Don't worry if you if you actually put in too much water, it's thin. Just add more flour, add more cornstarch until it thickens up. Oh, and I forgot my light. God damn it, dude. Beautiful, that looks perfect. Now all we're gonna do is take all our chicken thighs that have been coated in that first mixture and just toss them all in there. Get them all nice and coated. What is that? What is going on? Let's just go in with that chicken. Go and gently lay away from you and make sure the chicken's not all stuck together. You, you really want that to break up into individual pieces. You know what? When you're ever using oil, the whole, everything's gonna smell like oil. I'm gonna smell like oil. My brother's room, he's pissed off. It's gonna smell like oil. That's fine. That's part of the game. It should smell like you're doing cock magic if you're, if you're doing everything right. If you know, you know, cock magic. Oh, did I not get that on camera? No, I didn't. All right, once the chicken is done frying, after like three to four minutes, you can take it out. Because it's mostly cornstarch, it's not gonna get super golden brown. That's fine if it looks like this, like a pale, but it should be light and crispy. Something just moved up there. It should be light and crispy, and that's good to go. And if you don't have a wire rack to drain it off, I recommend just putting a, a pasta colander in a bowl and draining it off this way. Look at those, those are looking great. All right, I'm gonna move those off to the side. I'm, ju I'm just juggling shit around today, guys. All right, let's get started with the sauce. I'll finish frying later. It's a sugar-based sauce, so the, it's gonna be nice and sweet. We're gonna add a little bit of spice to it, but orange chicken is mostly a sweet dish. What's most important though, you're gonna get some fresh orange juice. Whole orange is gonna go in, juice of whole orange. And if you wanna get the most juice out of it, grab a fork, grab the back of a fork, stick it in there, squeeze down on top of it, and just rock that back and forth. Get all the little pocket of juice out. Now we're gonna go in half a cup of sugar and then rice vinegar. About a fourth cup of rice vinegar. Nah, less than a fourth cup. All of the descriptions below, so don't listen to what I'm saying. Listen to it, just read, read, it, read it below. Because it changes every now and then for me. It's all kind of by eye, but I'll get make sure that the right measurements are down with you guys. Some sesame oil, just a little bit. Sesame oil, very strong, very strong flavor, so you don't want too much, just a little whiz. And then soy sauce, here we go. And now, what am I gonna do? I have some chili oil. I think this is a pantry staple. You should all have some chili oil. You can find it in any grocery store, just in the dry goods section. A little heat tablespoon of that goes in. A little bit of heat, nothing crazy with those chilies. Some dry garlic in there, dried onions, more flavor. I'm gonna take a microplane and just get some zest of that orange in there. Yes, that's really gonna pop. That's gonna be fantastic. All right, so we're bringing it up to a boil. I'm gonna whip up a slurry. This is just gonna thicken up our sauce, the final stage of uh, making it nice and gooey. And all slurry is is equal parts cornstarch and water. I'm using about a tablespoon of cornstarch. I'm all out of cornstarch. Add that to the list. I need to get more fucking cornstarch. And then a little bit of water. So this is gonna act as a thickening agent. Now there are two main ways we thicken when we're cooking. It's by making a roux or making a slurry. A roux is a flour base with butter or a fat. That's the beginning of the cooking process. Your roux starts the sauce. Slurries, it always ends it. You add this in and then that starts to get activated. The bubbles you'll see, you wanna look for the bubbles getting smaller, more viscous. That's how that, you know that the starch has been activated and that is thinning out. So the slurry goes in now. And now we just stir. That's gonna do its thing. Let that get nice and sticky. And I'm gonna fry up some more chicken. Okay, our chicken is all done frying. Look at this, listen to this. Let's look how light and crispy this is. Doesn't look golden brown, that's fine, but listen. Hear that? It's fucking still hot. Hear that? Hear that? 
Mm. Hot. Woo, woo. Okay, finishing touches. Here we go, home stretch. Pan on medium heat. We're not really cooking anything. Everything's done. We're just tossing every, we're just tossing all that chicken in the sauce. Give me a light, please. Why won't anything work? Why, why, why must it be this way? Okay, here we go. Chicken goes in. Take that sauce that's thickened up. We're gonna pour that right over the chicken. Look at that. Look at everything just bubble. And then just toss that together. Just toss, just toss, just flick. Don't worry, the chicken's not gonna lose its crispiness. It's mostly sugar, so think of it just as like a final glaze just going on top of that chicken, which is all it is. Some scallions go in. One more toss, hand up, hand up. There we go. Look at that. That's looking gorgeous. I'm gonna grab some rice. All right, now just going with that chicken. Oh yeah, oh yeah, bro. Guys, you know, we gotta eat this because one, it's been a shit show. Two, I'm sweating. I don't know why I wore a sweatshirt. It's, it's hot as fuck in here. Uh, three, I just have to clean up. This kitchen's a disaster, more so than, than usual. I'm a little out of the groove with the pipes bursting and wh whatever. We're good, everything is recording. I hope that's on now, that's on. Please be on. Ah, oh, yes, okay, let's eat it. Let's taste this shit. And I don't have any clean chopsticks. Never anything is clean. Nothing. Okay, here we go. Mm hmm. <laughs> yup, motherfucker. Yup. God, that just turns your day around. That just it picks you up, spins you around, and goes, you know what? The day's not that bad. You got some orange chicken. Mmm. God, fuck those good. Yeah, that's a fucking winner. That's a fucking, I mean, it's orange chicken. What's not to like American Chinese food, Chinese Chinese food, who gives a fuck? It all tastes good. I'll see you next time. I'm Chef Donnie. Peace. You had to have a voice crack. That was a good outro and you had to go, peace. Fucking A, I'm 24. I shouldn't have voice cracks. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next time.